Welcome back. Look at this safety concerns in Rancho Park after homeless encampments here take over an empty 99 cent store parking lot. And not only are the encampments spilling into nearby neighborhoods, but as KCAL News reporter Nick Zetchevich explains, those who live nearby say they are also seeing an increase in crime. My daughter goes, Dad, somebody's in your car. It's disgusting. The debris is unconscionable. A neighborhood with 99 problems. Makeshift shelters in what is now this gutted 99 cent store parking lot. The living conditions for the people on the street are horrendous. The fact that they're on the street, it's, it's gotten to another level. Neighbors saying the illicit activity this encampment has attracted is now spreading. My main concern is drug use. I just walked out with my dog and I see like two people smoking crack. 99 cent stores recently announced the closing of all of their stores, beginning what the company said was an orderly winding down of operations. But people living in this neighborhood say things are all but orderly. Every now and then we get like uh, encampments on like in front of the driveways. Uh, people sleeping in front of our house. These residents saying it's serving as a home base for criminal activity. They came into my car, took off, my alarm went off. We ran outside, he took off. I chased him down. He went right over the 99 cent store. Bankruptcy, a long and oftentimes drawn out process. And as all that plays out, this property remains unattended. The squatters undeterred and residents left feeling hopeless. I want to live like that. You know, I don't want to look at my cameras all the time. And that's what I feel like I'm doing. The city's responsibility, the 99 cent store, the people who own that lot, someone's got to take care of that. And that someone technically is the city. Behind me is a sign reading that this is a special enforcement zone, meaning all are prohibited from sitting, sleeping, or leaving their personal items in the public right of way in this area. Politicians are saying we're going to do this, we're going to do that, but nothing has changed. It wasn't like this when we moved in. Nothing like this was happening. It was beautiful. It was a walking neighborhood. We could walk to the mall, to the restaurants, to the movie theater. It's all gone. It's all gone. I don't feel safe. I don't walk here anymore. I mean, I feel for the homeless population, but also feel for us that are paying taxes. So it's, 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 we're losing in every case. In Rancho Park, Nick Zetchevich, KCAL News. And Rancho Park is in L.A. City Council member Katie Yaroslavsky's district. She sent us this statement saying, quote, the previous owner of the 99 cent only store has failed in their responsibility to this community and it is completely unacceptable. My team has reached out several times to bring this issue to their attention, but have been met with radio silence. In the interim, I have directed the Los Angeles Department of Building and Safety to expedite the fencing of the property and also have ordered a weekly care plus operation by LA sanitation.